So last time we ran into Casey was uh, Oshkosh 2023, I think. And we talked about this aircraft that has flown, well now, I think four times to Oshkosh. Well, since that last interview, Casey has decided to start his own business with probably a little bit of nudge from somebody and provide some unique parts for the Sonics and specifically uh, the Rotex. So Casey, introduce yourself again and your brand new company. Um, I'm Casey Cooper. My new company is uh, Cooper Aircraft Corporation. Um, we're from Tucson, Arizona. Okay, and your, your day job, if you will, you work on light sport aircraft and experimentals all day long, right? Yep, yeah, we have our own facility there, our own air park, and we have about 30 aircraft there, among others that come in and out, and we do maintenance and modifications and all sorts of fun things. And now to add to that, uh, with the Cooper Aircraft Corporation, you're specifically going to focus on what you've already been successful at, and that is building a cooling system, not necessarily the whole firewall forward package, but the cooling system for the Rotax line of aircraft, of, uh, aircraft engines. Yeah, so um, the, we're making the coolant system. It's not really, the coolant system has been a difficult thing for uh, other folks trying to put Rotaxes in their aircraft. It hasn't been quite ironed down. So um, through your nudge and a nudge from Sonics and a nudge from Rotax, um, I'm now making this coolant kit that is compatible with Sonics's engine mount, their cowling, um, and is pretty much plug and play. You buy the assembly, you can get the basic assembly, you can get the full assembly with fittings, hoses, brackets, uh, everything to mount uh, your entire plumbing system. And uh, the only thing that we do not supply is wiring and uh, fuel lines. So um, it, it's a mixture of our parts and a mixture of Sonic supplied parts. Awesome, and being that you've been this before, you're gonna know not only the part numbers that you're, of course, selling, but the part numbers you will need to get from Sonics to complete the package. Yeah, so um, in short, what you would get from Sonics would be the motor mount, attach bars, exhaust, and propeller spacer. Um, everything else we would, we would be able to supply, and um, like I said, it's just wiring and one fuel line for for installation. So our last interview with Casey he talked about, he did a rather custom, probably one-off exhaust system for this beautiful design here. Moving forward with the kit you're gonna get from um, Sonics, which which company is that gonna be from? Um, the the exhaust that the that Sonics is going to supply for the 912 is made by Toucan. It's okay. a dual exhaust. So, so that, that is muffled compared to your open exhaust here, correct? It's a little bit different. Yeah, you're going to have to, um, it's a specialty exhaust made for Sonics from Toucan and it's, it's, it's just sounds different. Sounds awesome, but different. A, a tuned exhaust sound, but different than your, your open header different design. Different than mine, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, just, you've been flying this, I mean, following you on social, you, uh, able to take your, your family up with it sometimes. You're, you're doing some kind of mountain trips with it. What, uh, after more and more testing, what's been the, the best tested performance numbers you've seen so far? Round, roundabout numbers, not hard numbers. But. Okay, so roundabout numbers. Um, well, people ask me, what can, how, how quick can you take off? Well, I use 200, 300 feet of runway at the most. Um, I, I, and that's off of your dirt strip. Dirt strip, Correct. Yep. Yep. It's all soft field takeoff, so I try and get off the ground as quick as I can. Um, Cruise, realistically, I cruise between 100 and 150. Um, the plane doesn't, the plane actually runs cooler when you run it down slower, just because it's not working as hard. So the speed, speed's not a problem. Um, you don't have to carry speed in order to keep the engine cool. Um, if, I'm, if I'm just in there solo, going balls to the wall, trying to go as fast as I can go to the sky, I've seen a, a, up close to 2,000 feet a minute climb with this thing. Sustained and not on the initial pull. Sustained. Sustained, Sustained long enough. I mean, once you get to a few thousand feet, you're not getting that Once anymore. the air conditioner comes on from the ambient air, you, yeah, you slow your roll. You're not getting there anymore. But um, that a, a part comes from a large diameter propeller. It's a 64 inch three bladed propeller. A lot of these, uh, mo all the Sonics as you see for the most part are a two bladed 50, 50 some inch propeller. And uh, this one I put on about the biggest prop I could fit. 
And we mentioned that um, in the last interview, but if you could read it, why you chose to use the warp drive and specifically the three blade in this length for the, your concept here. The three blade was as big as I could fit. Um, 64 inch was as, as comfortable as I could be without smacking it on the ground. Um, can you still do wheel landings or do you need to be a three point? Yep. You yeah, can. still do them, yeah. But um, I went with a warp drive. They are the strongest propeller in the light sport industry, hands down. Um, they, I live off of dirt and gravel, so I don't want to chip my propeller and constantly have to repair it. So th these plane, these propellers virtually need no maintenance. Just vacuum your runway once in a while. Yeah, fact, get out there with the <laughs> Swiffer. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and uh, the nickel leading edge, that helps a lot. And then also, just as uh, as an assisted bonus, is this engine's a little bit light, so this plane always runs a little center, center to aft CG, depending on how I load it. And uh, having the bigger, heavier propeller out there in front really makes a big difference in how the way the plane flies. And it's a great propeller. I, we have pretty, we have 25 of them out on our air park. Yeah? Yeah, so it's just, Everyone loves warp drive. All right, so going back to the cooling system, somebody buys the Sonex kit and the components needed for Sonex to build a, uh, a Rotax installation. Uh, when they get your kit, what is involved in getting that mated to the Sonex parts to be a functional airplane? All right, I'm gonna pop in here real quick to talk about our sponsors. As you know, I can't do this all on my own. We got to have somebody to help fuel that truck. We try really hard to work with uh, sponsors that provide a good service and a good quality product. So let's talk about those guys right now. Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com, the premier provider of glass panel avionics systems for experimental and light sport aircraft. Wide Open Door Company at WideOpenDoorCo.com, your premier destination for high quality doors, including aircraft hangar doors. Warp Drive Propellers at WarpDriveInc.com, providing quality, solid carbon fiber propellers for many light sport and experimental aircraft. And visit our website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com for new videos and easy to navigate playlists and so much more. Speaking of fueling that truck, if you guys wanna join us on our Patreon page, become patrons of this channel, just search on Patreon for Experimental Aircraft Channel, sign up at several different levels, so check that out. A little bit of glue, a little bit of fiberglass, what, what do you need? Yeah, it's, it's four bolts to mount the, the cooling assembly to the bottom of the engine mount. And then you just have to plumb up from your inlet and outlet of your radiator, inlet and outlet of your oil cooler into your system. And then the, uh, the only additional work that might be a little daunting to some is you have to fiberglass on our fiberglass cowling, or fiberglass scoop on the bottom. Okay. And it's just, it, you just graft it in, you, you can Clico it in, get it just right, cut your inlet, fiberglass it in, you're done. There's not, it's really not tremendously complicated. It, it, it'll all be mapped out in a sort of way where you just put hose A here, hose, hose B here, and so on and so forth. Nice, and, and so. for your portion of the kit that will make this work, what is uh, roughly the price point that it will cost to get, get into that? What I'm selling the basic kit for is $1,350, um, and then the complete kit with all the fittings, all the hoses, the complete assembly, fiberglass, scoop, and thermostat is $1,950. Okay. So. Awesome. Well, we're looking forward to seeing what else you can come up with in the next few years of continue to play with this. And he's got a lot of real world testing with this. I mean, it's his personal aircraft and uh, he's out in Arizona where it's, it gets hot and cold. So he's got both ends of the spectrum to be able to test this in. Uh, and also not too far away is mountains. So you've got the, the altitude you need to get to as well. So, yep. And I've been very fortunate to fly it here. Flying it here is always a great test because I start out at home can get up to 110. I'm flying through New Mexico. I get up here, it gets, you know, win winter time for us. Yeah, yeah. You got some real cross country time logged in this. Yeah, I, I got about uh, 150 hours of cross country time just to here and then, uh, what is that, 12,000 miles or something like that? A lot of miles. Um, some mileage, yeah. So Casey's got a brand new website. Uh, what is the website, by the way? Uh, it's cooperaircraftcorporation.com. Cooper? Cooper, Cooper Aircraft Corporation. Corporation. All that, kind of like Experimental com. Aircraft Channel. It's a long word, but yeah, you, you can remember that. Yeah, you just double check it, triple check it, and you might get it the first time. 
All right. Well, <laughs> well, look Casey up there at his website and uh, give him a call with any questions. He's uh, he's very talkative, uh, especially about this topic. Yeah. And I'm sure he'll be happy to to get you started with your Sonic. I think it's a great match uh, with a very very lightweight engine. I know uh, Sonics is. Uh, you know, historically had the Volkswagen. Uh, if you want to take it to the next level, I think Ro Rotax is the next level from there. Absolutely, yeah. It's uh, it's a tried and true design. They're they're light. They're efficient. They and they really utilize their power very well. I have a great reputation. I can't say enough good things about them. So awesome. Well, congratulations on the brand new business. Yeah. Thank you for and your push. And we look forward <laughs> to. Uh, I'll have to come out and visit your shop sometime, and you give us a tour there, and uh. and maybe. I don't go flying with many people, but yeah, we'll stuff you in maybe there. on a low density altitude day, <laughs> we can go. I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight, but you know. Yeah, you're all right. 